the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friend, today I want to say something small about the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman, as we read in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. After the fall of man, God speaks to the serpent and says, I'm going to create an enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will bruise your head, he will crush your head, and you will bite at his heel. Now we know that contextually speaking and prophetically speaking that word was fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So Jesus is the ultimate seed of the woman being spoken of in Genesis 3.15 and he crushes the head of the serpent on the cross and the serpent beat his heel so the, the heel that may refer to to the crucifixion his crucified feet the serpent bites the heel but you know biting the heel is the implication is that The harm caused by the snake would not be fatal. And we see that in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ dies from the crucifixion, but then doesn't remain in the grave and he rises. So when he rose from the grave, that means that what, what the devil did the bite of the serpent does not destroy the seed of the woman does not destroy the seed of the woman while complete victory was given to the seed when God pronounced and said that he he shall crush your head and we know that when the head of any living thing is crushed it dies it's complete defeat. This is why many theologians have looked at this passage as the first gospel. They call it the proto-evangelium. So while God was, was, was speaking prophetically and casting the snake, he also prophetically spoke of good news for Adam for Adam for the man who had already been captured in slavery under the tyranny of the devil God announces a victory that will come a victory of crushing the head of the serpent now also yes this is ultimately to Christ but to also every Christian, every believer out there, in a certain sense, you are the seed of the woman. Once you have believed in Christ, you are a seed of the woman. And the same prophecy applies to you as well. Applies to, applies to you. This is why Christ says, the scripture says, you are not just a conqueror, but more more than that you don't just conquer nations you don't just dethrone kings you don't just no you conquer principalities and powers and thrones and dominions and forces in dark ages through Christ you also conquer your flesh through Christ so 
you are also a seed of the woman and so god has given you the ordination the mandate the anointing the empowerment to crush the head of the serpent while the bite may still be there through attacks through temptations maybe we may fall in temptations here and there that can be the the, the manifestation of the bite or even through physical and spiritual demonic attacks that may exist in 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 this journey to heaven but the ultimate victory has now been given to you that you will crush the head of the serpent you'll crush the head of the serpent and i i want to tell you the truth some of you you may be in church and you're fellowshipping with people but that action alone is where you are crushing the head of the serpent sometimes when you fast and pray you are engaged in prayer you are fasting you are crushing the head of the serpent maybe the serpent of poverty you are crushing it while while you are you are trying to work hard and earn a living for your family trying to work hard and earn something to sustain your family you are crushing the head of the serpent of poverty or while you are you are you are sinned and you confess of your sins you repent of your sins you are crushing the head of the serpent while you're studying the word of god you're crushing the head of the serpent you're crushing the head of the serpent or any spiritual exercise godly exercise that you you enter into you are crushing the head of the serpent as you extend forgiveness to others who have offended you you're crushing the head of the serpent and this is the victory that god has given us to crush the head of the serpent and he has already empowered you and i for this battle in which we have already been declared winners conquerors and more than that more than conquerors crush to defeat to defeat and also it means that the place of the devil god has ordained and spoken that the place of the devil is under the feet of the seed of the woman so it is so unfortunate that many times we believe us we are under the dominion of the devil by entering into satanic covenants even when we are believers by willfully surrendering to the devil and choosing to live a life of sin choosing to live a life of sin without repentance without contrition without you know and 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 we are neither hot nor cold according to revelation and when that happens we are spit out of the mouth of Jesus and when when that when we are spit out you are left without protection you are left without a shield god who is our shield but a christian who even though you fall but you keep rising again by your rising you're crushing the head of the serpent and so the 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 legal the legal the legal place of the devil in a christian's life is under his feet where he's being crushed where he's being crushed where he's being crushed So every time I want you to remember this every time you engage in prayer you engage in a spiritual exercise you engage in fasting you maybe receive the sacraments you go for confession or you are studying the word of god you do charity you 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 are in fellowship you are crushing the head of the serpent every time you do the will of god you are crushing the head of the serpent you are crushing the head of the serpent you are crushing the head of the serpent because you are the seed of the woman you are the seed of the woman and being the seed of the woman god has given you a prophecy that you are the conqueror that you are the winner you have been ordained to win as a seed of the woman you are ordained to win you are ordained to conquer 
you are ordained to defeat witchcraft you are ordained to defeat curses you are ordained to defeat the dragon the serpent the ancient serpent you are ordained to defeat him <laughs>